Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance. And uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. So this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising. A weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second guys to shuffle the cards and uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Nine of Wands, followed by the third one which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week here, that is to be the King of Wands, and then the last one which is the guidance the Tarot is offering, that will be the Four of Pentacles. All right, so um, well, it's um, it's really the key in this reading, guys, is within the four of pentacles. So it's only gonna be alright if I start with this one, but that way I may confuse you even more. I don't know. So okay, so let's let's go the traditional way, starting from the first card, which is the two of pentacles. And it's going to be catalyzed by the Seven of Wands. So we do have a, a passive neutrals into this position. So it looks like that this week is going to be a bit stressful for you, Capricorn. Uh, this is because you will have to maneuver pretty, um, how can I say it, uh, pretty, ad uh, pretty subtly. Uh, among all the tasks and endeavors that you do have. I mean, pretty much you got to make time. That That's the whole point of, uh, of this uh, week. That is for a reason being, it is that many things are going to come around uh, for you. Things that you have waited for the for the moment to happen and now the moment is happening and uh, as you have waited for let's say 10 things the moment to happen these 10 moments are coming in a uh, a time frame of few hours or of uh, of a, a day and so on and so forth and you may find yourself very very exhausted to grasp on all of them but you have to do it so because otherwise you may not have another chance to do it and for that reason uh capricorn it looks like that this uh, week you have to be pretty pretty adaptable you need to juggle with many things around uh, at once. That will ask you to let go of uh, certain goals. That may ask you to let go of as well certain plans. But also will force you to make a small adaptations. Uh, and under small adaptations, I mean adaptation, for example, um, you know, not to, I don't know, not to watch your favorite TV show today because you do have another thing to do and so on and so forth. And that will be dictated by a small changes happening around. And those changes need to be taken off and fit with your, uh, with your routine, fit with your plan. So you can, at the end of the day, you know, finalize everything that you have waited for to happen. Because this is what the week is going to be all about. You have waited for things to develop. They are developing right now and you got, you, you, you basically need to take them so <clears throat> that being said you have to step a little bit outside of your comfort zone that 
and go how, how do you say it in english you know go go out go out of your way a little bit for certain thing things so you can make progress right this is only if you do want to make a progress only if you do if you don't want to part way with a certain enterprise or an endeavor that you hoped to develop a further uh, into the future so the other cards um are, oh another thing uh, with these two cards it is that you aren't gonna have much time to deal with shenanigans all right especially if these shenanigans are made by other people it's just you are not going to have the energy to spend you know to give the those people the satisfaction to see that that thing that their shenanigan catches up with you all right so the challenge that you will have to overcome this is going to be the nine of um, the nine of wands and is going to be accompanied with the lovers card so we do have an, an active friends into this position the challenge itself resides resides into the adaptations uh, the nine of wands in this particular case speaks for these conscious changes you gotta do into your schedule all right you just need to reshuffle your schedule and with the lover's card it points that there is no right or wrong way to do it i mean you just simply have to do it the way you like to or the way you have to all right this is the challenge you cannot have it both ways you cannot have it the way you have to and the way you like to simultaneously i mean the way you have to schedule to make your schedule is not going to be the way you like to have your schedule or if you do it the way you like your schedule is not going to be the way you have to make your schedule and these both things are going to have uh, their um, reciprocal positive and negative sides if you will but uh, the both ways either way you make your schedule is gonna relieve you for a certain um, I would say minor issues that you may have all right up until this moment here but the challenge here it is to make your decision all right and uh, to to stick with it as well now another thing about the challenge here Capricorn it is that uh, you have to um, it's, the word is not patient. How you say it when you have to take on things, you know, and you squeeze your thit and you just take it, all right? And you don't whine about it. You don't, um, yeah, you don't whine about it and you don't brag about it. It, it is kind of like, it's in my country, it's very similar to patient. As a matter of fact, we use the same word. I don't know how to use it. Maybe resilience, all right, to, to those... Uh, readaptations that are happening and don't simply you know make them a big deal in front of uh, in front of the world that is because some um, <clears throat> um, some not well thinking people could take advantage of it all right so the positive aspects of your week Capricorn uh, that is to be the king of wands here and it is accompanied by the four of the five of swords all right, so a couple of things. We do have a person <clears throat> who this time around is not going to scrape down your nerves, all right? It is, it, well, th that person up until this moment, they scraped down your nerves. They really played a, a game of fire with you. Well, this time around, they will know their limits. Uh, uh, the limits of uh, the limit of this game and they are not going to surpass this breaking point that you do have but another thing is that uh, with this person together it looks like that you can um, transform an ambition into a, a very very powerful drive a, a drive that is going to produce results now these results are not yet to be determined how good those results are going to be so you that's why it's another thing that you need to make your adaptations very very accurately here so at the end of the day you don't take it as a uh, a waste of time that that's the problem here that you may take it as a waste of time at the end of the day while it may not be a waste of time but on a but on a more positive end with this person you are going to have really really good quality time i mean is that whenever you feel desperate whenever you feel miserable for example lost if you will you can always find a uh, understanding companion in the face of the knight uh, of the king of uh, wands who is going to make you laugh a lot all right it's just going to boost your uh, 
positive mood, uh, if I will. But um, the key here, it is the ambition. Together with the Knights, with the King of Wands, you can really transform the, the ambitious ideas into a powerful actions, powerful drive and manifestations, especially with uh, the... Um, uh, with the Five of Swords. And another thing, it is that uh, for that person, for the King of Wands, it seems that you are special, right? They usually don't don't regard to people. I mean, the people for them are nothing. But for some reason, you are something. And uh, that is going to as well play a, a huge role into the positive drive uh, for you both, for you and the King of Wands. The way I see it is more like a business partner, all right? So it could be a relationship type of a guy, but if so, that relationship, at least at the initial state, is going to be very, very carefree, almost open type of a uh, relationship. And the last one, uh, it is uh, the Four of Pentacles which is the guidance accompanied with the seven of pentacles and this is why that is the key card which tells us why you have to do all that i mean why you have to change your schedule all right why you have to adopt your schedule in a way you don't want to do it well it is because a couple of things <clears throat> three things actually the first is to adopt a defensive positions so you don't allow people that i say that are making shenanigans get into you. The second thing is to ensure for yourself a, a secure future. And the third thing, it is that a, a very, very decisive event, it is about to come around and you need to prepare yourself for it. You don't know what that event is going to be, but these changes, necessary adaptations into your, um, into your schedule are those um, adaptations or kind of like those preparations that you need so when that event comes around you you kind of like throw yourself in it with the right measures and with the right actions otherwise you risk to waste a lot in order to grasp it okay so uh yeah pretty much uh, that's uh, that's the reading for you capricorn i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it and uh, i hope that we're going to see each other around until then bye